Hello everyone and welcome back to my series of simple tutorials to make your Spike Prime robot better for FLL. Today, I'll be talking about how to make your robot drive perfectly straight every time using the gyro sensor. So the very first thing you want to do is set your movement motors. And I'm going to be setting mine to C and D because that's what is on my team's robot. Then we are going to need to set the speed and something slow works really well. One mistake my team made one year was we accidentally set it to 100 when we were trying to go home. The problem is, when it's at 100, you can't do any correction, because to correct, one of the motors has to go faster, and one of the motors has to go slower. So any number under 90 will work, but to be as accurate as possible, somewhere between 20 and 50 will work great. Then we're going to have to go to the Sensors tab, and we're going to pull out a Set Yaw Angle to Zero block. Now what this block essentially does is it resets the robot's angle. Whatever angle the robot is at is now set, set as zero. The robot reads that as zero. As soon as you turn on your robot, that angle is set is like the robot registers it as being zero. Problem is, if you just got off of a turn or something, your robot's not going to be facing the original direction. So when you try to run a try to run this program without the set yaw angle to zero, your robot is going to go back to whatever angle it originally was at. That's why you need this block right before the actual gyro loop. So then we're going to have to go to control and we're going to want to take out a forever loop. Now this will not be this way for a competition because you don't want to drive forward forever, I'm going to assume. We're going to have to go back up to movement and grab a start moving block. And we are going to not move in any specific direction because this doesn't use the gyro. Instead, we're going to go to the Operators tab, and we're going to drag on a Multiplication block. Now, don't do anything with this yet because we're going to need to go to Sensors and grab this Pitch Angle block. But we don't need the Pitch Angle, so hit this drop down and switch it to Yaw Angle because that's the, sort of the rotation of your typical robot. I don't think you're building a drone. If you are, please email me a video because it'd be really cool. So, start moving yaw angle. The problem is, if we don't put anything in this operators tab, it's going to start moving at whatever reading the yaw angle is giving us. So let's say the robot is f at 5 degrees instead of the zero where we, where we want it. If it starts moving 5, then all of a sudden it's going to be at 10. If it starts moving at 10, all of a sudden it's going to be at 20. So we need to invert this. And to invert this, all you have to do is multiply it by negative 1, because any number times negative 1 is just the inverse of that number. And if it's a negative number, like let's say a robot's at negative 5 degrees, it'll be multiplied to a positive number, like 5. This is called a proportional gyro straight program. So, it's called proportional because it corrects based off of the proportion of how much it's off by. Really simple. Let's see how it works. As you can see, it autocorrects itself wonderfully. So it did work, but the problem is we don't want it going forever. So how can we fix this? Well, to start with, we're going to make this into a my block. And if you've never made a my block, here's a basic rundown. What it essentially does is it compresses an entire stack of code into a single block. Here's how to make one. We're going to name it gyro straight because that's what this does. Then we're going to add a number or text input and we're going to name this speed. Then we're going to add a label and we're going to call it, we're going to make a little arrow thing called speed. And the reason we want this is because this bubble isn't normally filled in. When it is filled, it, because you have to put a number in. With this label, it's easier to tell that, oh yeah, this is the speed number. This is kind of just an aesthetic thing, but it will be very useful if you've got multiple programmers making my blocks. The next one is going to be time. This will be the number of seconds our robot is going to be going straight for. And then again, we're going to have a label. I'm going to draw a little arrow and label it time. So we're going to save that my block. And so to make a my block, like this, we're going to put this under the define. And now every time we drag out this gyro straight my block, it's going to run all of this code. 
But once again, we don't want this going forever, because that's kind of pointless, right? So we're going to take this out and delete the forever loop. The forever loop is gone forever. And we're going to need a repeat until loop. So put that in there. And because we're making it go for a certain number of seconds, we're going to need to go to sensors again. And there's this reset timer block. And the reason we need this is because it essentially goes based off of the time from when you start your program, which is not what you want. We're also going to need to grab a little timer input and output, I guess, and one of these greater than blocks. So when the timer is reading greater than, right now it says 100 seconds. It's not what we want. So you can actually drag these bubbles out of the my block, put them in there. So now when the timer is greater than whatever value we put in the time slot of this my block, like I'm going to put 10 seconds, so it goes straight for 10 seconds, it'll just draw straight for 10 seconds. Super nice. We can do the same thing with speed. Just like that. And I'm going to make my robot go at 20% speed. So, that's all there is to the program. Let's see how it works this time. It should only go for around 10 seconds. It is still correcting itself a bit now. I'm not sure if you can see that. This program is very useful on an FLL board because there could be bumps or wrinkles in the map. With this program, it will automatically correct itself. Thank you everyone for watching. I just want to let you know, in case you didn't see the short before, you can still email me with pictures, videos, or CAD files of your robot. It can be from any year. I don't really, ma I don't really care if it's from Masterpiece or not. So Robotics at gmail.com, and your team could be a part of one of my videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.